In this gameplay, I'm going to be showing you guys my first ever rec game of the brand new season on my 7 foot Yanis build. We are getting closer to getting this build to a 99, okay? We are currently at a 98, and yes, I've been trying out the post hook, and it's, feel it's feeling pretty good, but we went crazy this first game. And obviously, what are my thoughts on the new season? I'm not going to cap. I'm loving it. the rec kits. I think it's fire. I like the rec core. I like everything about it so far. And um, you can see from my stats, I'm I'm going crazy, bro. You can see my field going everything else. And obviously, this is always with rec randoms. I don't have a squad, nor do I. I prefer not even playing with a squad. But this build is super fun, man. It's just like the the offensive arsenal that this build has. It's just you can see I went for the mid range right there. I was trying to throw a lob to my teammates because you know some people probably think I don't pass the ball, even I'm averaging almost five assists on this game on this build. But I do pass the ball quite a lot. But just on the offensive side, this build just feels so nice. Like I'm just so dominant. I'm able to do whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, y'all let me know what you guys think about the new season. I also saw all the patches and everything else in terms of like the, the shooting updates, which I'm not going to lie. I am in love with that. Okay? I think it makes sense as we're going to just dunk on this guy right here. I think it makes sense because for me, I've always believed if I'm wide open, I don't know why the, the green window should be so thin. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'm up to wide open jump shot. Like, let me make my shot to get like this right here. Okay, if I'm wide open like this. People are disrespecting me, but I need to be able to hit the shot, okay? Like, especially when you have the stats to be able to do it. This builder does have 83 as we're going crazy on the inside. I told you, this build for me, the reason why I haven't made a new build in a while is just because I, why would I need to? Do you know what I'm saying? Why would I want to make a new build when I have a build I can do all of this, okay? This is the same build. I'm not, you know, you know putting clips together right here. The one build can do pretty much everything you're staring at right now. I can get the rebound. You can see you can dunk. So, for me, I've been having a lot of fun just grinding a, a single build. Um, it's giving me a lot more focus. I'm able to just focus on just actually enjoying the game rather than just trying to like chuck up, like, you know, find new builds, find new builds. I mean, again, if someone told me at the start of the season or the start of 2K that this is going to be the build I'm going to be playing off for the rest of the game or for the rest of the year, I would have been, I would have told you, like, nah, you're bugging out, bro. But y'all can see, I didn't even win player of the half because I was playing with a very good player. Okay, it's like a good random. I think he's building like a hybrid defender or something. Y'all can see he's got seven stills. But we're going crazy, and the reason I like this build is, <clears throat> is there's just so many different ways of being able to get buckets. You can see I can come off the screen, I can take off dribble mid-range, and that's why I average so many points a game, because I don't have, I'm not like a one-trick pony. I don't do the same thing over and over again. Y'all can see I can become like a screen setter, almost like the big right there, and just dunk on every single person in the paint. Y'all can see my team are putting his hands on his head. That was a good animation. I like that, actually. But I've got to show love to the center right there. Look, it, it, was, it was cold. I'm not going to lie for me. When I play with other scoring bigs, I love that. I love that because, you know, it just shows how, you know, versatile the game is. And right here, look, I can even bring up the ball and on this build, turned into a point guard, went into the post fade. So many different options. And that's the reason why your boys have just been chilling, okay? I don't, I ain't planning on making no new builds. I mean, nah, I mean, I can't, I can't think of any other build that I think will be offensively better than this build right now in terms of just pure domination, um, for being able to do everything you see i have my slash and takeover right there and a lot of people always assume i'm always going to go to the paint because i have the slash and take but nah bro we ain't got time for that um that was actually an accidental shot okay i, I was about to take a fade right there but you know listen we still time it we still, we still got the good job done but yeah how y'all feeling about this new season man like how you guys been feeling you guys play the wreck what you guys think about it um I, I ain't gonna lie look i'm loving it so far man i think i played a couple of games so far this season, and yeah, I mean, I think for me at the moment, I'm playing about three, maybe two rec games in a row, and the game's been all right. I'm saying like, <clears throat> the game's been all right for me because I'm not playing as much as I used to, and I'm not playing like seven, eight rec games, because if you play the game for that long, you're gonna find something to complain about. You can see the center right there as well. I mean, listen, those post games are crazy, bro. There's nothing better for me as a player when I play with another center, bearing in mind that my build is a legit power forward. There's nothing better than when I play with another center. I just uh, like he's just offensively skilled. Like it makes the game so much more fun to play. Like he can space the floor for me. I can space the floor for him. He can go in a post. You know I can go in a post. Like it just makes it so difficult for, for someone to double team because that means your power forward um, and your center both need to be good defenders. Now these guys right here, you can see that was a crazy block on me, right? He started flopping. So I'm like, you know what? Bet I'm gonna remember that. Okay, but the very next play, I'm just gonna dunk in his head too. And I wasn't quite done. Okay, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna remember that. The one build you don't wanna flop on. I ain't gonna lie, is this build because when I get you in the post and I drop step you, you already know you, you're getting absolutely annihilated on, underneath that pain. But yeah, this build's super fun for me. Um, I mean, in terms of just 
pure offense. I mean, defensively, it can rebound. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't have it doesn't have the best interior defense. Not as having a block. But at the end, this game kind of turned into a dunk contest, right? Loki, these guys, they've lost by like 50. I don't know how many points they're down by. But this game, Loki turned into a dunk contest at the end. And I was happy to oblige, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you all want to turn this into a dunk contest, let's go, you know what I'm saying? So, like, this was definitely a fun game. Um, fun first game as well. Um, and for you guys that are wondering, you all can probably see why I'm averaging so many points per game on a build like this. Because... I ain't gonna lie, I should be averaging this many points on this build. I mean, I sacrifice so much defense. If I'm not averaging at least 20, 25 points a game, I'm not gonna lie, this build is pretty much useless. So if you're making this build, if you've made my build and you're not getting 25 points per game, I'm not gonna lie, you're doing something wrong, okay? As long as your teammates are giving you the ball, they don't need to give you the ball when you're wide open. Just get the ball and just be super, super aggressive. Y'all can see I haven't have an 80% field goal. Um, in this game, I'm averaging about 70% field goal right now. I don't think that average is going to drop because I, I don't make a lot of mistakes on offense, okay? The build's so easy to use and so simple. As long as you kind of have the basic IQ to know what you're doing. Y'all can see from my season level, this was my very, very first game. But it was fun. Y'all let me know. I mean, how are you guys finding the new season? I know so many people. I mean, bro, I wake up and people are always complaining, bro. 2K does this to people complain. People do like, bro, y'all give 2K a break, okay? I think this new update, it sounds like a big W, boosting actual open shots reducing coverage i know the stills eh, i know i know people are still going to complain about that but anyways you let me know in the comments how you're feeling about the new season so far hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you in the next one